I would like to uh, reiterate to everyone that the, the World Bank is really committed to supporting our clients to achieve a just, inclusive, resilient, and sustainable energy transition. We're also keen to make sure that we will have universal access to affordable, reliable, modern energy services. And this is an essential and integral part of the world's effort to achieve uh, net zero emission goals. Development and energy go together. And in the World Bank, we really appreciate that. And we see uh, our, the world's efforts on uh, climate change as an opportunity for clean transition and universal access. We still have almost 800 million people without access to electricity. And what is even more difficult, about 2.6 billion people still are cooking with polluting cooking fuels and technologies affecting primarily girls and women around the world. At the same time, as countries continue to build their energy systems, we have to help them to avoid locking in high carbon development pathways and find out ways and new opportunities to build sustainable energy systems. So while development and clean energy need to work hand in hand, this is not always easy to reconcile. And we do recognize that every country is different, different development stages with different development priorities, different resources and different needs. So we need to find tailored paths for its case. Let me share just a few perspectives from, from our side on the World Bank. First of all, we believe that a well-managed retirement of coal power plants is essential for the energy transition and to achieve the targets of the Paris Agreement. Transitioning away from coal is one of the biggest energy challenges that some countries face. There will be trade-offs when implementing an ambitious climate agenda, including the cost of retiring and replacing coal power plants. But this can be reduced through a people-centered approach, social protection, skills development, and policies that will support private investment. To make sure that the energy transition is fair and equitable, we are committed to working with our client countries and our partners and support a just transition away from coal. Second, we need a massive scale up in clean energy. And this is critical. It requires unprecedented financing, both on renewable energy and energy efficiency that will substitute fossil fuels quickly and expand energy services. Now, the good news is that distributed renewable energy and energy efficiency are often the cleanest and the lowest cost way to expand energy services. They reduce emissions and indirectly enhance competitiveness and energy security. Uh, the World Bank Group is one of the largest providers of finance for renewable energy and energy efficiency projects for low and middle income countries. Between uh, 2016 and 2020, we committed almost eight and a half billions for direct clean energy investments, including renewable energy access. A total of 34 gigawatts of renewable energy was made available to help communities, businesses, and economies thrive. Now, my third point is that universal access to affordable, reliable, and sustainable energy is the foundation for economic growth, and it will help the world to be more resilient for future shocks. Energy access is a very important priority for the World Bank, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa. We have the ambition by 2025 to provide 100 million people with access to clean cooking, 60 million people and 60,000 healthcare facilities, schools and other public institutions with access to electricity. This will focus on expanding access to modern energy services, cooking, electricity, and cooling, and we will proceed alongside policies that will avoid locking into higher carbon development. Now, gender equality is an integral element of all our energy access efforts. Women and girls are disproportionately impacted by the lack of energy access. So investing in closing gender gaps, help reduce poverty, expand access to opportunities, and improve development indicators. And this is an area that we always include in our projects as we expand uh, our energy investments. In the World Bank, we use a combination of technical assistance, policy lending, and investment projects. And we provide financial support, of course, to accelerate the energy transition and universal access. And we're guided by our recently published and approved World Bank Climate Change Action Plan. I would like to highlight the critical role that ESMA, our Energy Sector Management Assistance Program, has played for our approach to our support our client countries and help them design their specific paths for energy transition. 
SMAP is providing a technical advice. You can help them with studies. And we have, of course, all our colleagues and technical expertise. Uh, and really, I'm very keen to discuss uh, how we do this around the world. And I would like to take the opportunity to really thank all the ESMAP donors who are making the support of ESMAP to our client countries possible. Now, we have an excellent panel with speakers from uh, countries from around the world and partners who will share experience on how they tackle these different aspects of energy transition and universal access. And I really look forward to a great discussion. Thank you very much again, and back to you, Gabriel.